We're back in Hartford. Uh, we are at the Capitol Building, and we're talking with folks who are involved and are going to be even more involved in the next 72 hours to try and wrap up this session, get their bills going, your business going, as it were, including Representative Tony Wong, uh, who represents Fairfield and Trumbull. It's good to see you, Tony. How are you doing? David, it's always great to see you. I know you're busy, and I know you're tired already, but you're going to be a whole lot more tired by the time midnight on Wednesday rolls around. You know, we may be tired, but you're, you're running on the adrenaline yeah, of bet. representing the people. It is a tremendous honor and privilege. But I have to tell you, I'm still extremely fired up and somewhat disappointed with the budget that we just passed in the dark of Sunday night. Well, now, it's very interesting because needless to say, your, your, your friends on the other side of the aisle uh, seem to be very pleased with it. And, uh, you know, everybody would like to see some more money there and so forth, that's for sure. And nobody's happy about having $450 million uh, of projected monies kind of evaporate within a couple of weeks, that's for sure. But what in particular well, for I you is I think we is need to, to, to move back to a state that operates on a biannual budget. And we need to remember a year and a half ago, we had a record tax increase placed upon the citizens of the state. And even with that incredible 1.8 billion plus tax increase on the backs of taxpayers, we still don't have enough money. That is something that is incredible. It's almost deja vu all over again from the first time I came into this General Assembly. We continue to not only address the issue, we don't have a we don't have a revenue problem in the state. We continue to tax and burden the people. We have a spending problem. We have an incredible spending problem that does not recognize or represent the interest, the common sense approach of the people that we represent. It's incredibly frustrating. And I will share with you the other thing that is even far more egregious is living down where we are with the train lines and the frustrations we have with Metro North and our roads infrastructure and our failing bridges that we actually had the audacity in this budget to raid $18 million from the Special Transportation Fund. How far can you go before the people of the state says, this is not the way they want you to govern? Well now, there are, there are those now who are saying, all right, now we are going to be setting up a lockbox. Boy, that lockbox, that goes back a long way, doesn't it? We're getting a lockbox for transportation that cannot be raided. Are there such things as lockboxes that can't be raided? It's, it's personal will and, and, and the integrity of representing the people, simply not the doublespeak that occurs. The fact of the matter is, we can talk about a lockbox all we want, but we had an opportunity in this budget to send a message loud and clear that we need to fix our roads, we need to fix our bridges, we need to fix Metro North, and we still approved, which I did not, a rating of $18 million. So all the lockbox can do is say, what are the will of the legislators? It has shown a tremendous lack of leadership. This budget is fraught with a lot of those issues. We came up with $75 million of tax revenue that appeared overnight it's even better than winning Powerball. And that's the frustration we have. Where is the accountability? Where is the transparency? Seems like we are making a quick fix budget, pushing toward election time, and we'll fix the problem afterwards. The nonpartisan fiscal analyst office of this state have said that we will have a $1.3 billion deficit already. That is an 8% spread from how we have to do business. How are we gonna run away from that? It's gonna be interesting to see how you run toward Wednesday night's midnight uh, wrap up and uh, exactly what we're gonna do in the interim, as you say, because that money comes and that goes with some degree of great regularity and large quantity. Thanks so much for being with us. Well, thanks for having it me. It's always good to see you. That's Representative Tony Wong of Fairfield and Trumbull, our guest on this edition of Meet the Leaders. That's the kind of thing you've seen the other side and you've seen this side. It's all over the place still with two and a half days of real hard work and sorting out still to be done by our legislators here at the end of the session. That's all the time we've got for this time at Meet the Leaders. I'm David Smith, but we will look for you next time.